Today is February 21st. Pastor is saying to us, Another Comforter. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Observe what John the Apostle called Jesus in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, our advocate with the Father. The word translated advocate here is parakletos, the same word the Master used in his reassuring words in John chapter 14, verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Parakletos actually means one that is called to go alongside or go together with you, one that is called to aid a helper. The Amplified Translation gives us seven beautiful synonyms that come out of the word parakletos. Comforter is one. The others are counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby. Hallelujah. Why did Jesus talk about another comforter to his disciples before his death, burial, and resurrection? It's because he was going away to the Father and wouldn't be with them for much longer. For that reason, he prayed the Father and asked him to send them another comforter who will abide with them forever. The word another is translated from the Greek word alos. Alos means another one of the same kind, quality, and type. So, he's saying that this comforter, the Holy Spirit, will be like himself. In John chapter 14, verses 17 to 18, he continued, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Jesus, our comforter, went to heaven, but he sent us the Holy Spirit to take his place so we'll never miss his presence. Now, instead of walking the streets with you as Jesus did with the disciples, he walks the streets in you. He's in you and with you forever. Praise God. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to live in me. I acknowledge him as my comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby, always with me and in me. He's my refuge and strength. I'm yielded to him to be led, guided, strengthened, and taught to things of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, John chapter 14, verses 18 to 19, and John chapter 15, verse 26 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 5, verses 1 to 20, and Leviticus chapters 19 to 21. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 20, verses 13 to 24, and Psalm chapters 33 to 34. Rhapsody of reality.